Well, we all know having a garden is great for enjoying beauty outdoors, but what if you want to bring that beauty indoors? We are joined by Mara from Pike Nurseries this morning with ways to create your very own cutting garden. Good morning, Mara. Good morning. You've got some beautiful things here that we could be growing to actually bring indoors and create our own arrangements, right? Absolutely. I've brought some beautiful varieties that I love to work with at home and doing other designs for other folks. This is a gorgeous plant called Pittosporum, and it it loves to be trimmed. It encourages new growth, so it helps the plant. We also have some other different colors. This is Laura Petalum, and it's got this beautiful silhouette that adds a bunch of shade into your container and in your designs. This is Celosia. That's and beautiful. I think it looks like feathers kind of, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Um, another idea for when you're creating these centerpieces for your indoors, bringing that beauty inside, is to make sure that you have something that will hold the delicate flowers up so that's what I start with. I start with a shrub and then go to beautiful plants like Penta, this pink one right here, and adding in a little Echinacea, those gorgeous guys over there, and of course succulents can also add texture. Okay. So this one on the end over here, this one right here is called mm -hmm. Stone Crop, oh, and she fun. is just gorgeous. A little bit of blush, and uh, I'll, let's go upstairs and we can take a look at what we can do with these in a little bit of class. All right, see how it all comes yeah. together. Here we have a couple of compositions that I put together with some of the textures we talked about outside. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful. I can see how it all comes together here, but what are some tips to make sure this is successful and comes together the way you want it to? So when you're choosing your plants, make sure you think about seasonality, what's blooming when so that you always have something to take from your garden and bring inside so pretty much your yard is like a symphony you help you help always want to have ups and downs blooms and different beauty um, times for different plants right now is a great time for the hydrangeas to be at their peak so in each of these I chose a single bloom with lots of accenting textures you'll see all of these beautiful ferns, mm -hmm. a couple of, oh, do you know what this one? Little magnolia, nice. which is very southern, <laughs> and you can get very fancy with it or just keep it up very elegant and, and uh, simple. Well, that does make it a little less intimidating when you point out that it really is one flower, but it's accented by a lot of other things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You also don't need much. Um, sometimes it's just color. Mm -hmm. And Celosia has this beautiful feather uh, bloom. And then you have the shadows. We were talking about purple outside and mm -hmm. how it brings depth into your containers. Also, from now on, keep every glass vessel from your aunts or anyone getting rid of any of it. This is old milk glass that I've gotten from friends mm -hmm. and it makes it intimate. You also need things for your kitchen and you also would like to have a touch of beauty in your bathroom. Absolutely. What a great way to enjoy all of this outdoors and indoors. Thank you. No worries.